Now it is Tuesday, so let's get creative with some filmmaking tips and tricks. My name is Jordi for Cinecam.net and today we are covering 5 color grading hacks that you can do inside Adobe Premiere Pro. Now before we start, a big thank you to Videoblocks who are supporting us today. If you need anything like stock footage, video effects, slideshow templates, smoke and muzzle effects or anything else, well then you can find it over there. Now not only their huge library is what makes them stand out, but also their pricing model. You pay one price and can download unlimited items for an entire year with that. And on top of that, if you follow the first link in the description below, you can get a sweet discount or even a 7 day trial completely for free. The first color grading trick. If you shot something with an off white balance, then you can fix that through the white balance slider. But that doesn't always give you the proper results. Usually your highlights and shadows will look too orange or too blue. So what you can do is navigate to the color wheels and push the opposite color into the shadows and highlights. Try to make your shadows look black and your highlights white. And this will give you a more natural white balance adjustment. The next trick is a way to remove ugly digital noise in your shots. Now, if you're going to shoot in a low light situation and need to crank up your ISO, then chances are that you're going to see these dancing colored pixels. Now, there are noise reduction tools, but if you don't have that, then here's a quick way to reduce that noise. Most of the noise is visible in your shadow, so let's start off by selecting the shadows only. And you can do that from the HSL secondary. You want to select the entire color spectrum and the saturation first. Then only select the first range of the lightness. Now look at your shot and make sure that no colors are selected, but only the absolute shadows. Once you got that right, you can decrease the saturation, and that will remove that weird green magenta cast you always see in digital noise, making it slightly look better than what you had before. The next color grading trick. Sometimes you only want to adjust one specific part of a scene, for example the face of a walking person, to draw more attention to the subject. Now what you can then do is head into the effects controls, locate Lumetri and click on the pen tool underneath. And that allows you to draw a mask around your desired subject. And now you can do your favorite color grading on that part, but to make the mask less visible, you want to feather it as well. And if your subject is moving, simply click the play button under the mask pad to let it track with the movement. And this brings us to color grading trick number 4. If you have created an awesome grading and love to share that with your friends, then you can locate a simple menu on top of the Lumetri panel to save your settings as a LUT. I would suggest picking the cube format. And that will save your color grading into a file which you can share with anyone. Now to load your color grading back into Lumetri, you can click on look under the creative tab and choose custom. Then just locate your cube file and bang it applies to your shot. Now to have your LUT permanently inside your looks, then you have to locate the Premiere Pro installation folder. Go to Lumetri, open LUTs and then Creative. In this folder you want to add your custom LUTs. The next time you then open up Premiere Pro, you'll see your LUT in the list as well. And for the last color grading trick, we're going to give some more punch to the clouds with a very simple technique. I'm going to start off by drawing a mask around the sky and feathering it. And this allows me to solely grade the upper part of the shots. And to add more punch to it, I want to lower the exposure except for the highlights. And the easiest way to do that is by diving into the curves. You want to create a deep arc by moving two points like this. And that will make the sky darker. Now simply pull a tiny bit on the highlight so that you can create a curve that looks like this. Just make sure not to overdo it. And that will give you a lot more punch to the sky making it look a bit more dramatic. Now, if most of these tricks were a bit too hard to follow, I can really recommend to check out our complete beginner's class on color grading inside Premiere Pro. You can find a link to it in the description below and that will actually give you free access to the class. But hurry up, because that offer only stands until the end of March. Thank you guys so much for watching, and like always, stay creative. Guys, we have an office dog, and look how cute she is! Where is Oli? Where's Oli? Oh, <laughs> <laughs>